hey guys welcome to another video now I've been playing the long dark my interest was triggered because they had a Halloween event and I got back into the game found it really cool as I played it there were certain things that occurred to me I thought would make a great tips video I hope you feel the same once you've watched it guys here they are 10 tips for the long dark Don't forget you can repair your clothes. Now if we have a look at these socks here, these ones are 91%, so they're in good condition. If we go down to the next one, it's got a condition of 24% and you see they're a lot less effective. If we go to these ragged climbing socks, reinforced expedition quality wool socks, they're still lower, but it's 21%, so we need to repair this baby because if you repair them, then you get a much better insulation from them. So don't forget to repair your clothing. Having a sewing kit is even better. If you've got one of those, then there's a much higher chance of you repairing them more efficiently. Only some locations have rifle spawns. You can see here in this hunting lodge, the rifle is down here. Now, sometimes it's standing next to a wardrobe or it's down in the basement, but the house is designed to spawn this weapon. We can pick it up. Excellent. Now, when you find a hunting rifle in a location like this, there's a good chance there'll be ammo in the building somewhere, which makes perfect sense. You can see here, picked up some ammo there, some cartridges. But the tricky thing with this is occasionally you get a bullet just lying behind something or just outside. So make sure you carefully look around, pick up any randomly lost ammunition. One of the things I've noticed is bandages sometimes are found near bathtubs. So you see this bathtub here, there's a little bandage down there. Now one of the reasons why I put this down as a tip is because you just don't notice it sometimes if you're coming in. Just take a moment, pause, have a look. There's a bandage right next to the, the bathtub there. This will come in handy. Firing with the rifle at the beginning of the game is very difficult. When you look down it, you will sway. And it's as if you just can't hold it still. Now you can find books which teach you better methods of marksmanship. But I would suggest you get as close as you can to your prey. In that way, you've got a higher chance of hitting. Even when you seem quite close, like this, I would try and get closer. Now, it may be that you have a house near you where you can run into. If the wolf comes running at you, which is then very difficult to shoot them. But just try and get as close as you can. Also, reserve your running. You want to be able to run. Reserve your stamina. You want to be able to run as fast as you can when that wolf comes towards you. You don't want him getting at you. See, I'm pretty safe here now. I'm going to crouch as well. There's a shot. You've got to take your time when you're hunting these wolves. It's really dangerous. When you shoot an animal, you get some of its flesh if you harvest it when it's dead. Now, you can only harvest if something is frozen if you've got a blade. So you might have to do it quickly if the animal dies. But when you've got your meat, you can see the percentage, the quality of that meat. So the better the quality, the more it fills you up and the less chance you have of getting infect infested by parasites. But the tip here is, if you've got some meat, it will start to degrade. What you can do is go outside and put it in the snow and it will last a lot longer. Drop some meat here. Now, dropped meat is a good way of distracting wolves as well. There's, there's a couple of wolves out there still I've got to kill. Keep an eye on the eye. What I mean by that is, this is how tired you are. And, in fact, 
the audio prompts will let you know about it. But if this tip is based upon your sleeping location, so when you click on it, it shows you the temperature at which you're sleeping. And this is obviously pivotal because when you go to sleep, you don't want to freeze to death, do you? So this shows you the temperature, and it also shows you some other stats, but the, the calories burned, the calories stored. And it's definitely worth keeping an eye on that. You don't want to be sleeping in the freezing temperatures. A good way to hunt wolves is by using rabbits as bait, if you get that option. So here at the hunting lodge, the rabbits are running around in the grass over this side. So if a fox is moving towards you in this direction, he may well go for the rabbit. In which case, that's your opportunity to pounce as the wolf is ripping the rabbit apart get close enough, take a shot, take the wolf down like this, and then you also get a rabbit in the bargain, and you can harvest the wolf carcass and get the meat from that as well. Sometimes you look at a room and you think you've looted it all, but there are a couple of things you can think about. Firstly, check underneath beds. For example, here is a can of food underneath this bunk bed. And have you got enough cloth Curtains, you can break down. As I said before, in tip one, fixing your clothes is really important. And there's always enough cloth around to do that if there are curtains at the windows. Something you need to think about is your light source. Now, if we look here, it's starting to get towards night. The day is starting to finish. And you can press the control button and you can see the night day cycle the top right hand corner of the screen but if you've got some cabins to loot if it's going to get dark these cabins they're not going to have any light inside and it goes for lots of buildings as well some of the houses some of the yards you won't have any light source now you can start fire and take the torch but sometimes they don't last very long what you might want to do is think about how much time you have left of the day so my aim here is to try and get these cabins looted before it gets too dark to see inside. Now as I go inside, you'll see that basically we've got a very sort of dim light. Now if it goes pitch back, you won't be able to see in these rooms and you won't be able to loot. So plan that out, especially important in at the early stages of the game. Consider how much time you have left to loot and then where you're going to be sleeping. My last tip for this video is the fact that you don't need to start up a fire every time you go into a house. A lot of houses are between 1 and 5 degrees warmth already, which is more than enough to sleep and more than enough to actually do some research. So although it looks actually lovely, you're probably just wasting your precious firewood. It becomes harder to harvest firewood the tighter you get. And in fact, you get to a stage where you can't actually harvest because, well, you're just too cold and your brain's just too clouded. So that's my final tip, guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, click the thumbs up down below. If you haven't subscribed already, it'd be awesome if you could. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.